Senior at Disney? Nancy and I have an ongoing collection of videos reviewing the best Disney resorts for seniors and retirees, primarily at Walt Disney World. So far, we have reviews evaluating if Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Disney's Contemporary Resort, and Bay Lake Tower are good choices for seniors and retirees, both for short and long-term stays. We have links to these videos in the description below and to the playlist at the end of this video where you can find all of them. And on Saturday, we are reviewing if Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas are a good choice for seniors, yet just what is a senior? In fact, one of our subscribers to this, our At Nan Dan Travel YouTube channel, whose particular handle is NYCP, asked this very question in their comment to our Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower video review for seniors. And so it got us thinking. Specifically, they asked, I'm wondering what age group you are specifically indicating to be a senior. So, in this video, we specifically address two aspects. How do we at Nancy and Dan Travel define a senior? And secondly, why does it matter, if it matters, for Disneyland and Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line vacations? So let's get started. How do we at Nancy and Dan Travel define a senior? Let's start by looking first how others define what is a senior for some perspective. Disney does not itself really define seniors. At least it does not for its park passes because there is no senior discount, even though, arguably, seniors tend to spend less time in the theme parks on any given day and more time at the resort where they're staying. Unless you know something I don't know. And if you do, please share in the comments. What about other retailers? Well, AMC Theaters define seniors as those aged 60 and over. Because when you buy tickets to see a movie at an AMC theater, at least out here where we live in the southwestern part of the United States, seniors of this age can get a dollar or more discount. Harkins Theaters, a competitor of AMC in a few states, also uses the 60 plus age group for ticket discounts. Marriott International, at least for some of its brands and locations, gives room discounts for those 62 years and older. We could not find any senior rate at any Disney resorts at Walt Disney World or Disneyland. Again, if you know of some, please leave in the comment or go over to our new Facebook group, Disney for Seniors, to let us seniors know. Some cruise lines do offer discounts for seniors on what they term selected sailings, usually code for last minute or a small percentage of their voyages that are not selling very well. Yet, when they do, they define seniors to receive these rates to be 55 years and older for such discounts, such as at Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, and Celebrity Cruise Line. Disney Cruise Line, from some travel agent slash broker website, states that DCL does offer senior-specific discounts, yet when I personally contacted Disney Cruise Line directly, they said, once again, no, they do not have senior-specific discounts. And lastly, AARP, also known as ARP, also known as the American Association of Retired Persons, considers seniors to be those aged 50 years and older based on their memberships. So how do we here at Nancy and Dan Travel define a senior for purposes of our reviews for seniors and retirees at Disney resorts, Disney theme parks, and our Disney cruises? For us, it is not one specific number like 65, 62, 60, or 55. Yet, if I had to pick a number, I'd say 50-ish. How's that for hedging our bets? Yet for us, it is more than just the number, more than just the person's age, because just a number by itself does not impact how the interests, responsibilities, stamina of adults when on vacation adjust over time, and they do as we all know. It is the changes that occur to adults as they go through life's stages, as adults reach those golden senior years, it impacts what they, the seniors, want from and what they want to do on a vacation, including a vacation to Disney. It even includes whether adults continue to want to go to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disney, or on a Disney cruise as they get older and 
as their children grow up and leave the nest. And that leads nicely into our second aspect of being a senior at Disney Resorts on a Disney cruise, that being, why does it matter? As you know from our past videos, Nancy and I are both seniors. I even have a Medicare card. How about that? When we and our friends and our clients go on vacations as seniors, what we want from our adults only vacation can and has shifted from our early adult years. In particular, our reviews of various Disney resorts for seniors takes into account that adults, when they are not pushing infant strollers for tiny humans around Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and so on, when they are not vacationing preteens and teenagers at the happiest place on earth or the most magical place on earth, they want different things from the vacation and are not limited by what the younglings want or need, when they need or want it, day or night. Guests staying, for example, at Disney's Contemporary Resort, Bay Lake Tower, and in the past few years, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa can literally walk from those resorts to the entrance gates at the front of Disney's Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World. This is a major advantage and benefit for those staying at these resorts because tiny humans and preteens tend to be attracted the most or at least in the top two of the theme parks of Walt Disney World to the magic of Disney's Magic Kingdom theme park and spend most of their vacation there. Yet, most reviews by travel advisors or Facebook groups or bloggers or vloggers on YouTube are done by young or middle-aged adults from their experience of vacationing at Disney resorts and theme parks or on Disney cruises with their own infants in their strollers or their own tweens or teenagers vacationing with them. Once you have raised your family and start to vacation as a senior with other adults or on your own as a single vacationer, you no longer have to take into account what will keep the interest of infants and tweens and teenagers. You no longer have to worry about having your activities influenced by the close proximity from a Disney theme park to your hotel room to attend to your infants. In our video titled, The Ultimate Guide, Best Times at Walt Disney World for Seniors and Retirees, we list what we believe are the typical activities and interests of seniors and retirees when on vacation at Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And we'll display them right here for you. Not to repeat that entire video here. Yes, we'll put a link to it as well in the description below. Let's look at some of these items and why it matters to focus on what seniors want on vacations at Walt Disney World and Disneyland and on Disney cruises. So the Disney theme parks you spend time in as a senior when on vacation at, for example, Walt Disney World as a senior on a solo trip or with other adults will only be influenced by what you and the other adults vacationing with you want to do. What interests you? And that might not be any rides or attractions at all. Perhaps you simply want to spend your time at Disney's Epcot. Perhaps you simply want to go to Disney's Epcot theme park and spend your time exploring the specialty booths and the specialty food and adult beverage kiosks during any of the different international festivals there, such as the Flower and Garden Festival in the spring or the Food and Wine Festival in the fall. Perhaps you want to spend time slowly walking within the many different animal viewing trails at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park without ever going or waiting in line to go on Expedition Everest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frequently seniors like you want to spend less time in the theme parks or at the water parks while spending more time relaxing in tranquility at the one or more leisure pools at your Disney resort Disney where you are staying, like this one at Disney's Yacht Club. Or like this one, one of our favorites at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. As adult age, their stamina tends to gradually reduce over time. We all know that. I know that Nancy and I both cannot spend all day from rope drop first thing in the morning all the way to park closing with the park's musical projection laser fireworks show. We need downtime, not necessarily to take a nap. We need downtime, not necessarily a nap, but just to get out of the Disney theme park overstimulation. 
What works for us is to spend our downtime back at the Disney Resort and relax in a tranquil setting. The lobbies of Wilderness Lodge, or Boulder Ridge Villas, or Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House are sufficiently large so that they are usually not overly busy and crammed with guests checking in and checking out, have a ton of Disney detail to enjoy and admire as you see on these short video clips. These Disney Deluxe Resorts, as well as, for example, Disney's Beach Club Resort and Boardwalk Resorts, also have relaxing areas outside of the main buildings. Lastly, older adults tend to have more mobility challenges than adults in their 20s and 30s and 40s. So for seniors at Disneyland or Walt Disney World with mobility challenges, staying in a Disney resort that has fewer buildings is an advantage, such as, again, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas, Disney's Beach Club, Yacht Club, and Old Walk Resorts around Crescent Lake, as well as Disney's Animal Kingdom, Jumbo House, and Kandani Village. Disney's Riviera Resort, Contemporary Resort, and Bay Lake Tower are all preferred over others, such as, say, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Saratoga Springs, and Old Key West Resorts, which have numerous guest buildings throughout their resort. This is why, to us, it matters to take into account the needs, wants, and desires of seniors when planning and going on vacation at Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disney, as well as on Disney Cruise Line voyages. Older adults, when vacationing as a single or with other adults, without any infants, tweens, or teens, are free to do what they want, when they want, free to stay at a Disney resort that meets their needs without compromising for the needs and wants of infants, tweens, and teens as much as we love them. Hopefully our review of what we mean by a senior and why it matters when we review Disney theme parks, resorts, and Disney Cruise Line for seniors helps to provide you with the context of our reviews for seniors. What do you think? Do you agree with our use of the term seniors? Do you agree with our subjective thoughts on how seniors have different interests when on vacation on a Disney Cruise Line voyage or at a Disney theme park or Disney resort? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and we will certainly take them into account as we publish more reviews of different Disney resorts at Walt Disney World or Disneyland as well as on Disney Cruises. Also, feel free to start or join a conversation on this topic over at our new Disney for Seniors Facebook group. Here on the right, is the link to our playlist containing our reviews of different Disney resorts from a senior's perspective. And on the left is one of the mentioned videos reviewing a Disney resort from a senior's perspective. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.